So we're going to uh, talk about footwork and you will always move your feet on the surfboard. There's not going to be a time really where you're in that perfect position for the whole of the ride and there's only a perfect position for certain things that you're doing on that board. You know, to be basic, you change your foot position for, at the high end of surfing for a, for a tube. You're going to come back for a turn. You might be riding bigger boards. You're just learning to surf. You've got to keep that ball going in the white water. You know, it's your first day and the whole board's slowing down. You think, oh, I want to keep it going. Things that we do not want to do. I'm not a big fan of what we call flapping, where you see the surfer and they're on the board and they kind of, yeah, okay, let's keep this going. There's a time when you would do that in a competition, possibly to get from one weak section of the wave to a sort of area where you can put some points and get a maneuver. That's different. But many people think that's how you surf a, surf, surf, a, a surfboard. So the first thing they do, instead of learning a nice bottom turn or a top turn, they, or a good trim across the wave, they just get there and go, okay, I'm surfing. It's not. No. We actually mark it down when we're judging. Unnecessary flapping, take it out. It's not surfing. There's a time for it. Yes, there is. And the great master, again, I always go back to Kelly. Watch Kelly. And you watch him and he's kind of squeezing it. Bah, 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 you know. Philippe Toledo. Carissa Moore. They'll actually squeeze it through these turns. Most pro surfers know that. Okay. But we're not flapping, but we want to accelerate the board. Maybe we've got a big board here today. This board's eight foot long. I'm in my riding stance and I'm slowing down. Maybe I'm just learning. I'm in white water. The wave is slowing down. One of the first things I do is don't go leaning on the front. I know even surf schools that teach you. They go lean on the front leg, keep it going. It doesn't even look right, does it? This is not what we're supposed to be doing. What we're supposed to be doing is setting the feet free. So here I am. I'm slowing down. Don't look down. Secrets of surfing. Don't look down. Look up, you'll stay up. Look down, you'll probably go down. So, I'm riding, I'm slowing down. Watch what happens. All I did was move my back foot slightly forwards. My front foot then moved. That's enough to really accelerate the surfboard. Okay, I've speeded up, I'm going, now I come back. Front foot, back foot. Riding. Slowing down, back foot front. Speed it up, front foot back. Have a look at where my weight is as I do this. I'm not overly back, that's too much. I've just got a little bit of weight there. And watch where the weight stays. There's no time I'm waiting onto that front knee. It's a lot of reasons why we don't. The rails are designed to suck the water. You put way too much into that front leg, the rails, what we say, engage in the water, they catch a rail and you're coming off. So, we're gonna use Yella here. Yella rides a short board, rides a long board as well. So, Yella, uh, you met her before, she's been surfing about five weeks, going across unbroken waves, starting to put turns in, really learning quickly, trains, does her work at home in Germany. That's why she's learning so quickly, uh, takes it up really seriously. So she's riding a small board and she will use footwork. Riding a big board, you will use footwork. Yella, jump on that board for me, could you? Too much weight in your back leg. There, that's where you're surfing too much weight in that back leg, okay. Nice and low, now looking forwards, okay. We don't normally surf straight, so imagine you're going, you're not on white water, you're going across an unbroken wave. And I want you to just use your footwork, I'll say back foot, front foot. So look where you're going on that wave. You're riding, everything's cool. You're slowing down, back foot, front foot, nice. Keep that weight, that's good. You don't want to wait too much. You've accelerated, keep your head up, and front foot, back foot, okay. So what's happening there? you need to have a little bit more spring in it, a little bit softer. It was our first one, doesn't matter. Good, and back. Keep your vision where you're going. Let your arm lead a little bit more, okay? Softer, okay. And footwork. Okay, and footwork. 
Okay, so now, jump off a second. Our footwork is a little bit too kind of slow. It's kind of a bit cumbersome. I want to be a bit softer and springy. So I'm here, watch, watch the springiness. Yeah, there's a little bit of a bum bum. You're kind of dragging your feet a little bit. So we're here, slowing down. Well, accelerate, accelerate, come back. Boom, got it? Keep looking on that wave. Whenever you're ready, you just do it in your own time. Good, much better. <laughs> you just went backwards, settle it down. You'll do that, you'll go front foot, back foot, back front, front, back, back. <laughs> you'll do it, man. And just keep it, well, as soon as you make that mistake in your train, you just go, I'll go back to it. What is it, back foot, front, front foot, back. On you go. Take it slow. Good. Now, when you go forwards, I want you to imagine you're going to stay in that position to really get that board moving. After a few seconds, when you're ready, then you go back, okay? Look, look along that wave. You're on that wave. Much better. Whenever you're ready. Good. That's a huge one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like longboard stuff there. <laughs> So this practice we can do at home. Okay, so I combine it with my jump up. So I'm going to do my jump up. I'm padding away. I'm doing my training at home. Up. Okay, I'm slowing down. Okay, I'll accelerate. I'll come back. Here we go again. Paddling in. Here's my wave. Up. Okay, I'm slowing down. Footwork. Take it back. You know. Always my vision's going where I'm going. So it's a typical example of footwork. I've made a turn that will slow the board down. Back foot front to accelerate. Go back to make the turn and accelerate again. Stay in a forward position. Board's starting to slow down, so I'll make another little bit of footwork forwards. There it goes. Small movements. I'm picking up speed, waiting for it to pick up speed. And I want to make a turn. So now I'll go backwards, front foot back and turn. I'm on the wave then, not on my board in London, mm -hmm. Berlin, wherever, okay? Okay, now, you will see people, they'll get this wrong. They'll kind of go, you wipe out. You can see what happened to the board there? So you just slid straight away, and that's what happens in the water. You have to start with that back then that front, or you just wipe out. There will be some of you, it's funny, the other day the surf got really small, so uh, Yella went onto a longboard. It's great to learn the longboard, shortboard, ride everything. And you will see people, they've been riding longboards for a few years, and you'll see them kind of going to the nose. Okay, I'm getting there. It looks ridiculous. If you learn to longboard and you take it up, learn to cross step. Now we're going to talk about cross stepping another day, but this is how the principle works. There's a point I want to get to. I want to get to that point so I could use two physical movements. In fact, I'm even going to put it right up here. Okay, that's two physical movements. Really big. But what if I did two physical movements and cross my legs? Watch what happens. I've just gone double the distance. So that's why we cross step. It's not, okay, it looks really fancy, but it's the most efficient way to move up a surfboard. Now, as you get into your shoreboards, again, watch. Watch surfing. One of the loveliest bits of footwork you'll see at the start of the film called One California Day, and it's Joel Tudor. He's not doing any cross stepping. He's going back foot, front foot, front foot, back on beautiful waves. I don't know where he is, but somewhere in Cali. Watch a pro tour, see the surfer come off the bottom and many times they'll accelerate through the barrel, through the barrel, come back, ah, maneuver. So you're always going to use this. This isn't about being a beginner or a learner. This is what we're going to do, move our feet. And then it gets you into the idea of, okay, I'll, I'm there, I'll drop my foot back. You know, I, my feet are free, they can move. So that's it, Yella. That's your footwork and you combine it with your jump. 
Let's have a little jump, and when you feel settled, you've jumped, you're on the wave, a little bit of footwork. Yeah. That's excellent. Well done. Well done. Your jump was super. <laughs> okay, thanks.